First tonight at 10, a community effort to come up with answers to solving Milwaukee's reckless driving problem. Now, dozens of people gather tonight for our Project Drive Safer Town Hall event. TMJ4's Ryan Jenkins shows us the spotlight on the solutions that were had. Yeah, hi Shannon. Tonight's town hall was more intimate than our first one with just a couple dozen people in attendance. The other big difference was that instead of sitting before elected officials and those in uniform, the audience sat in front of a panel of community leaders that dedicate a lot of their time to fighting reckless driving. And the main takeaway tonight, there's no one solution and fixing the reckless driving crisis in Milwaukee is going to take a village. From worried neighbors. I'm the, I'm the gentleman where the cars ran up in the yard 17 times to fed up community leaders. Drive, 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 drive. I'm kind of tired of hearing about how we can get more people to drive. Thursday night's Project Drive Safer Town Hall at Riverside University High School focused not only on problems on the road. I've always wondered why we don't enforce the dark windows. But also on potential solutions as those who call Milwaukee home remain fed up with reckless driving. From enforcement, if you can't register your car, you need to surrender your car. To engineering, the bump outs should be just automatic for, for almost every neighborhood intersection that, that gets rebuilt. To education and a culture of caring. There needs to be more of a human connection. And the problem begins in the home. My, in my opinion, I believe that um, a lot of this driving uh, is due to uh, disrespect. So if we can change that narrative, we can make a difference. From vehicle registration to conversations about citations and booting vehicles, even state funding, ideas flowed for two hours inside this auditorium, even the ideas from Wisconsin State Senator Lena Taylor. Is the timing of lights, someone brought that up. It is a huge problem. Senator Taylor talking about engineering issues like traffic lights that don't sink on busy streets and state funding like the driver improvement surcharge, nearly $5 million that step helps by to fund step, things we like take, chemical tests, can, we do capital instruments, and uh, safe last week. Grant. She thinks that spending of that money needs to be reconsidered. Whatever is collected from reckless driving should go to road design, driver education, something that is driver improvement. A, a lot conversation of my, that my these community members my hope will help ignite change on Milwaukee roads. Okay, what was one of the unique ideas that you heard or was mentioned tonight that didn't make it into your story? Yeah, one attendee talked a little bit about uh, sharing, I guess, what she had seen on military bases in Europe. And that was they used to display mangled vehicles and the stories about the crashes that caused those vehicles to be so damaged and a way to visualize the dangers of bad driving. And that was something that many people in the room seem to believe could have an impact if something similar were to be implemented here, Shannon. Sounds quite interesting. Thank you, Ryan. Now, if you missed tonight's town hall, you can still join the conversation by going to projectdrivesafer.com. Go ahead, send us your ideas for potential solutions or tell us how you've been affected by reckless driving.